objectives, selects to use the non-objective and abstract expressionist modality to express his emotions, his feelings, his views, and his philosophies toward the world. Mr. Fernandez, it's very interesting, likes to have his paintings untitled because he wants the viewer to bring in the viewer's own personal perspective to the art. It's, uh, he's almost a producer of this beautiful art. So each individual will come in and interpret and bring one's own individual emotions, thoughts, and theories to the art. We're very proud to showcase Roberto Fernandez here in Chelsea, New York City, which is the International Art District of the World, located on West 25th Street between 10th and 11th Avenues. The show will be up, uh, continuing through May 31st. Hi, I'm Roberto Fernandez Orticos. We're in Amsterdam Whitney Gallery, where I'm exhibiting right now these paintings here in New York City. My paintings don't really have a subject, but they have a spirit. And if, if, you, if you look at my paintings, uh, you'll find that um, they do talk to you. Look at the other paintings that I have in my CD there. Some of them uh, don't have a lot of orange. Some of them are very black and white. Some of them are very black, very solid color, almost. But you start looking at it, and all of a sudden, they come to you, and you go into them. And you start seeing all the different tones. And I don't sketch anything anymore. I did that years ago. That what you, you know, you try to sketch everything you see. Now, I, I, it's better to memorize. It's better to, to, to let your, your mind flow and go with, with your memories. My biggest inspiration? Biggest inspiration, I would say, music and the big guy up there. I can paint from uh, Latin music to Bach. Bach is mad. Chopin. Uh, probably I did this on the Bach. Um, Bach, Latin, drums. Uh, this one I probably, I probably it was a combination of Chopin and this one's Latin. How did you get involved with the paintings? Well, how are you connected? We've known each other for a very long time. Very, very long time. And I knew that this was something that was in his soul. But other stuff happens in life and career-wise. Uh, I mean, you know he was born in Havana, Cuba, left just before the revolution. The stories are a book in itself. An extraordinary book. This is 10 to 12 years to get to this moment. But he was determined he would crack the Chelsea art market, and he's done it.